Hello everybody, this is the Autistic Gamer and welcome back to FIFA 15 Career Mode. And as always, Mignolai starts at goal. The rest of the team is exactly the same, except for Markovic who comes in for Coutinho, who's been out of it in terms of form and stamina. So, let's start the game. The start of the game, Bayern against Liverpool. This is going to be a great match. It's the quarter final. Chance to get into the semi final. We need to take it. It is the beginning of the game, and we will see what we can do. Well done by Sterling. Oh, it's a good cross, and that's 1 0. Sturridge, what a good finish, and a great cross from Aubameyang. That is how he scores goals. Well done. Didn't even hit it that cleanly, but still a good hit, enough to go into the back of the net. And it's 1 0 for Liverpool against Bayern, away from home. It might be offside, but that's a great folly there from Sturridge. Mario Goethe didn't hesitate, did he, with that challenge? He's going to cross it, looking for Robin, and he goes for goal. What happened there? Almost non goal by Alberto, and two great saves in a row for Mignolet. Markovic, though. Markovic? Ooh, what a save by Neuer. And a beautiful shot by Markovic. But the best goalkeeper in the world isn't this easily passed. And that is Aubameyang with the 2-0. A great corner. And a simple header. Assures us the win of this game. Maybe not on an aggregate. Because we still have the second game to play. But this game is definitely won. Bayern have nothing to say. They don't deserve anything, so they don't get anything. Look at that. It's actually a really good header. Murray left standing there, wondering how to stop it. Never capable of getting there, and Lam positioned himself wrong in the goal. So he also couldn't get there. That's 2 0. And that's the end of the first half. And before the game started, I said that. Uh, I didn't even know if, if I was able to touch them, if I even had a chance, but I have more than a chance because I scored two goals in one half against one of the biggest clubs in the world. And it's deserved. It really is. And looking at the second game, it's always nice to have an away goal, but especially two. And maybe more in the second half, you never know. So let's begin the second half. It's a good ball. It's also a good ball. Oh, and it's already 3 0. Markovic with an easy tap in. Unbelievable. I'm quite sure I'm quite sure Guardiola on the bench of Bayern is just flabbergasted with nothing to say. He's just sitting there silent. Because he's getting beaten by so much. Look at this. The defending is, is amateur. Not what you ex you'd expect of uh, Bayern. But <laughs> I'm not going to complain. It's 3-0. Ooh, that's not well done by Skirtle. Oh no. That's that's the 3-1. Skirtle, one of my best defenders. Always seems to fuck up some sort of thing he always does a lot of good tackles and a lot of good interceptions but here he gave a ball, the ball away to Lewandowski he gives it to Robin and Robin with his quality never misses these chances 1-3 that is the end of the game Bayern against Liverpool and 
You might not be able to hear it, but I'm ecstatic. <laughs> to win 3-1 away from home. In my opinion, the second biggest club. To do that is just... It's something amazing that maybe I can reproduce, but I don't think so. We have two emails here, one from Flanagan and the other from Ellen. They want to get sold in the next transfer window. Well, you know what, guys? You're not going to play. Anyhow, so I can easily sell you guys. There we go, Flanagan. Oh, transfer list. And Alan on the transfer list. So they won't be staying with us too much longer. And now we have a game against Arsenal for the Premier League. And let's see the table for once. We are in fourth place. And if we win of Arsenal right here, we overtake them on the table and move into third place. That would be amazing. And to see this, we have made such a big run. It just a great run of form. We went from 8th, within 8 games, we went from 8th to 4th. That's a big jump. And it's all, I think, thanks to Obama Young, who's just been the best transfer. So let's start the game. Same team as always, no changes. They might be kind of screwed up in, in terms of stamina, but I think they'll make it. So I'm not going to change anybody. The beginning of the game in the Emirates Stadium, Arsenal against Liverpool, two games away from home in this video. But we won the last one 3-1, so maybe this away game is something special as well. But I'm never good against Arsenal, that has to be said. And it's already almost 1-0 for them. I know that sounded really stupid, already almost, but... Arsenal with the first shot of the game, Ozil. And Mignolet saves it. Got it. Ozil. Well Zub with another good save. And a header from Ozil. That's well done. And that's 1-0. What a sweet finish. And I don't have to say it, do I? It's always Bamiyang who is important for us. It was definitely a good idea to bring him to the club. Didn't even cost that much. 20 million in, in terms for, you know. Liverpool have taken the lead. That's the end of the first half and our brilliant form seems to continue as we are in front with 1-0 once again. Arsenal had the most chances, the best chances, but the class of Aubameyang was too much for Chesney and he beat him with a simple finish. I'm not going to make any changes to start the second half, so I'm just going to start it. Oh, and that's 1-1. Good Football And we left lost. And it Way more. It was coming, really, it was coming, they have been pressuring us the entire match. This goal was basically unavoidable. Definitely the goal was unavoidable and it's 1-1, we need to get back now. Almost 2-1 two, two, for them. What a good shot by Wilshere. Hits the post. Well done by Sturridge. What a brilliant goal by Sturridge. A pinpoint perfect finish right here. Look at that. A great goal in the top corner. Oh, I was actually lower than I expected, but that is a beautiful finish. Past three or four defenders and past Chesney. And look at him, that, that's a celebration. Just, just pure nothingness. <laughs> that's funny. And that is the end of the game. Another victory. Our run of form continues, even after so many games. In the Champions League 
and in the Cups and also in the Premier League which is the most important league for us but as you can quite clearly see they deserve to win or at least get a draw but luckily for us we won as you can see here in the next video we will be facing off against Arsenal and Bayern Munich just like I said the two re return games of the ones we played earlier it's gonna be brilliant it's gonna be really really great but what I do not like is look at this ridiculousness look at this that was our game today right Arsenal one day for rest then the next day it's Arsenal again then another day for rest and then Bayern three games is six days that is a little bit that's just ridiculous in my opinion that's a little bit too much in terms of games because my players are already screwed up in terms of uh, stamina anyway and this does not help but anyway i thank you for watching please do not forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you next time